Well, good morning. It's uh, not bright and early anymore, but it's just after eight o'clock in the morning and we've done all our chores and we've left our pitch and uh, what was the campsite called to? <laughs> Silly. I forgot, Esther L. Esther L Camping. Yeah, it was Esther L Camping. Uh, oh, I should know. Actually, it's Esther L Caravanning with one end. I should remember, it's yeah. on there. Oh look, we got a goodbye present, a little brolly. I uh, hope, uh, hope we, we don't need little, it. <laughs> got a little drawstring bag and yes. a reflective screen to go in your windscreen. That was the arrival, arrival present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never had presents before. Well, we had a lovely uh, break here. We had to stay one extra night because guess what? Trev got the lurgy and had a steak and uh, didn't think about it, red meat, all that stuff, and got a bit of a reaction to it. So yesterday I was in no fit state to drive, so uh, the uh, Kevin and Tracy were really sweet, have been so supportive, and we're leaving a day late. So we're 24 be hours behind schedule now. We've had to change the, ca the, the campsite uh, in Italy. We're now gonna cross the border into Italy today, which is all very exciting. And um, we also had to change the rental car. Um, so there were extra charges and, and some logistics around that. But Kev took care of it all. Everyone's been giving me the, the help I needed to get better and we're back on the road. So um, uh, hopefully there won't be a repeat episode of that. But yesterday was pretty horrible. That's behind us now. Let's get on the road. We're just waiting for Kevin Tracy to finish dropping their grey waste at the um, service point. And uh, they'll be coming through the barrier and we'll be out there along the French Riviera. 477 kilometres is the distance. 477 kilometres today. Um, and I'll put how many miles that is on screen because my brain's not working quickly enough this morning. But uh, groceries, yeah, we're going to do a grocery stop, which will probably be round about lunchtime. So we're keen to get into Italy now. We're day late, but hey ho, that's the way it goes. We just filled up with diesel, 188 euros, and um, yeah, and we're on our road again. Yep, and it's 34 degrees. We'll see you on the road.
Well here we are at Barco Real and I'm going to take you for a walk with the dogs around this lovely site. It's a short walk because there is such a lot of it to see but uh, give you the highlights of this really first class holiday park. So where have you brought us then, Kev? Right, well we brought you uh, down to a place called Chitaldo Alto, huh? um, which is a little bit further south from where we're staying, up at Barco Real. And um, we're going to show you the um, citadel up at the top there, which is, if I remember right, it's 13th century. Mm. And well. it sits high on a hill, um, just above the town of, or the city of Chitaldo below. Um, it really is a stunning place. Um, Tracy and I had the privilege to come here back in 2018, I think it was, um, or 2017 maybe, um, to a wedding. Um, and it was an absolutely beautiful occasion. And this is in the heart of Tuscany? In the heart of Tuscany, yeah. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, let's go and have a look. It's not too bad.
Yeah, that's the sort of view you'd get. The great reveal. Yeah, well, it's as I said, ah, there you can see there. Yeah. That there is all there, yeah, so from the restaurant. Yeah. So at night time, it's super because it's just lit. It's oh, it's going to come up now. It's beautiful. What's coming up? The vanilla. The vanilla. Vernicular Railway. Now this is a part of an archaeological dig and there's clearly some pots down there. Well, we've made it to Barco Real, and this is the Tuscan hills of Italy. And uh, we, we arrived after a tortuous journey, um, busy main roads, and we took the motorways and the tolls, and we uh, got tangled up with a few long vehicles, lorries, let's say. And we are on pitch 69 here. Kevin Tracy here, just behind the hedge, on pitch 68 and it's a winding road between the trees on this hill the huge site with all the facilities you need we've got water on our pitch there's no um, grey waste on the pitch but uh, there are facilities just yonder um, toilet showers and uh, the Elson Point is not far away and down the hill you've got a beautiful pool and views that stretch forever. Today we're off to Lucca, which is about an hour's drive. Yesterday we went to hire a car at uh, Florence Airport. Kevin and I took 
uh, Smurf along and I parked in the 20 minute waiting bay while he collected a car that we'd pre-ordered. So let's get on the road. We're going to Lucca today, which is a beautiful town, somewhere that uh, Kevin and Tracy have no, not been before. So uh, uh, we're looking forward to that. We're doing shift work. It's been 33 and 34 degrees. We are on a shaded pitch but it's still intensely hot. So Sue is going to be minding the three dogs here this morning and we're going on a little morning trip, if you like, rather than a day trip. It's early, it's only quarter to eight. We're now setting off to Lucca to have a Lucca. So uh, we'll see you down there on the road. So where have you brought us today then, Kev? Uh, well, we've uh, traveled over to Lucca. Luca, um, L U C C A. And we're still in Tuscany. Yeah, we're still in Tuscany. Um, and this is uh, the old town. It's a walled, uh, or city, I should say. It's a walled city. Yeah. Um, we've, dri we've driven through, um, which you can do, but I think we ended up in some uh, restricted areas. We did. Um, yeah, we did. So yeah, we've so come out, we've found a car park uh, we have, yeah. just outside the walls, and yeah. we're now heading in. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's going to be and, beautiful. And it's uh, one euro for two hours. Yeah. And now that's good value. So our little legs are going as quickly as we can, aren't they? For us two hours, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See you in a minute. See you in a bit. another statue, particularly like the detail on the side here. Really lovely. The heat from the sun's uh, getting up, it's mid-morning now and uh, we're creeping up to 30 degrees. But it's beautiful here in Lucca. He's got a little three-legged lamppost. You don't see many of these trip anymore. <laughs> you don't, do you? Look at, that, eh? Look at that. And it is literally a lamppost in the centre of Lucca. Yeah. And this is one of the squares. Very pretty. And the uh, coffee shops all around. And another beautiful statue here. Fella on the top. Looks like they're creating a uh, market square here for the weekend. Some sort of festival going on. Imagine them leaning out the window singing their songs, isn't it? <laughs> well, here we are in one of the big squares here. Beautiful buildings, tourists all around us taking photographs. Some work going on down there, so there's one, two uh, cherry pickers and lorries about. Oh, just look at this, beautiful.
the typical little Italian streets and the typical little Italian car. Right down there is the Fiat 500. And you can just imagine, we see them on TV flying up and down these little alleyways. Behind me, another square. And I'll turn for you. So you can see another square. And uh, another statue. What a beautiful tower. stairs. We've got a little surprise at the top of this tower. You may have seen a clip of it just now. I'll show you a better picture when we get down the bottom. We're starting to see rooftops. And there we go up the steep steps to the top. You can see the tower with the bells in that we saw earlier and lots of rooftops. And the tiny steps. Ooh, breathe in. No more chips for me. Oh, we are. are we up there? Yeah, last uh, stair away. Oh my word, there's another one. <laughs> okay. It's a spin. Well, we made it to the top and now we've got a panoramic view of Lucca. And from this side. The last look before we head down. Well that was an amazing experience on its own. Absolutely leaking here. Got down to the cool breeze of the street from that high up position. Very, very hot up there. But uh, we're just walking back. Tracy didn't come up with us. If you're wondering um, where Sue is, she's looking after the dogs. We've got extreme hot weather here. So we're taking it in shifts Sue's taken the first time to look after the dogs. We're out and about and we'll switch this evening and tomorrow, depending on the weather. Tomorrow is supposed to be showers, perhaps thunderstorms, so it may be cooler, but uh, she's back at base.
Oder ich der Kirche San Friano, weil die nicht da ist. Well, we're almost back to where we started in Lucca and a beautiful fountain over here and the gardens just at the edge of the walled city. Uh, last glimpse of some of the architecture of Lucca. Stunning place, beautiful. And the, uh, the uh, gate is just, just over here. But, uh, some of the old buildings here, they really have stood the test of time haven't they? Well I hope you enjoyed that look around looker. Uh, I certainly have. Uh, we're now heading back to the car. We've had our two hours exactly walking around those beautiful little streets. See you on the next one. Bye now.